how to adjust the carburetor on a home light chainsaw. The carburetors on home light chainsaws come with three adjustable settings that allow you to regulate fuel and engine speeds. While adjusting the idle speed and the low speed isn't too complicated, it's best to leave high speed adjustment to a professional with a tachometer. If you exceed the maximum engine speed while adjusting the high speed screw you can destroy your engine. Since Home Light recommends not adjusting anything on the carburetor, check with your service warranty prior to adjustment to make sure you won't void your warranty. Things you will need Screwdriver Small screwdriver Flashlight if necessary Unscrew the top engine cover using the screwdriver. Lift the cover up to free it from the cylinder area. Disconnect the air filter and remove it from the engine. Clean the air filter by slapping off all of the sawdust. If it's very dirty, replace the air filter. Put the air filter back on. Locate the three carburetor adjustment screws. These screws will either be located just above the gas tank or just above the clutch area, depending on the model, and will be deeply recessed. Use the flashlight, if necessary, to locate the screws. Make sure your fuel tank is at least full. Start the home light chainsaw. Squeeze the trigger lightly and let it run at a high idle for a couple of minutes to warm up. Let the saw idle while making the adjustments. Insert the small screwdriver into the hole marked L. Turn the screw clockwise until the engine starts whining. Turn the screw back turns until your engine produces a clean, full sound. Insert the small screwdriver into the hole marked I or T. Twist the screw clockwise until the chain starts to spin. Back the screw off counterclockwise and turn increments until the chain stops spinning. Tips Warnings Never use a chainsaw when the chain is spinning while idling. Adjusting the high-speed screw can damage your engine and void your warranty.